You know, I'm from Los Angeles, and when I was a kid, we had smog days where you couldn't see. Your lungs would ache. They keep you inside. We've had a smog day in 30 years. I mean, things are getting better. They're not getting worse. Well, I mean, just better. All I'm saying is, if you expect people to get together and work together for, for no profit of their own, it's not no, going to happen. It's never working. It's never happened in human well, the, history, and it won't work. But actually, for the majority of human history, it worked. It has not. It, 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 humans around for 175,000 years. This monetary kind of environment that we live in, we look at it like it's an arrow, like it's natural. About 500 years ago. Right. How did we live back then before this environment well, came about? Well, before that, well, you Life have, was nasty, nasty brutish, and short. <laughs> that, that, that's, 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 to quote Thomas Hobbes, I know yes. that quote from, and that guy was clueless to any evolution of human society. Ever gone through old graveyards? Most of the gravestones are kids, little babies. Right, there's a high end more right. There's no doubt right. about that. I don't disagree with that at all. Right. I mean, massive So how can you say the world's worse? It's a hell of a lot better. Well, it's not worse, but, 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 It depends on your, your metrics are. We're talking about social relationships, how it's never going to work that way if people get along. And when we were in tribal societies, for 170,000 years out of the 180,000 years that we've been humans, and that's how we operate. Right. That was the social relationship. And it had a lot of disadvantages. Well, this advantage doesn't want respect. And at food, gather, gathering food. Um, yeah, they work. They work. They work. They work three hours a day. Yeah, the nature would kick their ass every once in a while. No doubt about that. A lot. You have to hunt and gather. If you don't find anything for the day, your day really sucks. There's no 7-Eleven down the no, road. No, there's no doubt about that. Let me say this. But yeah, that's, that's a, you're making a logical fallacy there. Saying since they didn't have the technology to always have food all the time, therefore their social relationships didn't work. That doesn't make sense. It's a logical fallacy. Well, what, what I, all I'm saying is you're saying things are worse. I'm saying things are better. I didn't, I, say, I didn't say things, things are worse, but, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, they could get even better. That's the I point. agree with you. They could. Yeah, you have, worry about. you have to look at the metrics of what you're saying is better. We a lot better in a lot of ways, a lot worse in words. All, all I'm saying you, is, you want to get people together and work without making a problem. The problem with those systems are is the people who work hard don't get rewarded for their hard work. And the people who screw around get the same well, reward, and then everyone starts screwing. Well, around. that depends on what you mean by rewarded. Because what is a reward really? When you have the food to take care of your family, the clean water, the housing, and education, health care. When you have have that taken care of, that's a successful person considered, right? Well, you're giving resources, that's a Right, well, let's say, you know, whether you work for it or not, if that is provided to your family, you feel better, whether it was just provided magically or otherwise. Now, that's the thing is, if we realize that technology, using technology, for instance, to create the vertical farms that are self-sustaining, that produces food, for the fresh food for the population that's free, who would, who would be against that? Have you ever known a trust fund baby? I mean, right. I mean, a, a trust fund baby is a guy... would be against free food for the population? Food. Why not? How are you going to build? Well, who's going to build? Those let's say, structures? let's say a philanthropist. Let's I, say, let's say, Bill Gates. Gardener, let's say Bill Gates. I, I, I grow. I have grown my own food for since. Well, I, I mean, it's a side. I, all side I could remember. Someone's going to have to build the upright structures. Oh, of course. Yeah, definitely. Um, who's going to do that? Well, who's who, where's pay the resources going to come? That's let's say, not free. for instance, let's That's say not Bill. Free. Let, no, it's not. Let's say Bill Gates decided to do it. For instance, in theory, or some other philanthropist said, "We're going to build these vertical farms, and we're going to feed people permanently." Like San Diego, for instance, puts 20 million every year into the food. Bank. That wouldn't be needed anymore. Uh, your idea is not going to work. You know why? The electricity that you use to run lighting, <laughs> fans, can be run by pumps. solar and thermal. No, they can't. No, they can't. No, they, no, they, can. they, no, they, they, they can't. Only it's provable. A only a portion of the year. You don't know anything about growing stuff, obviously. You haven't put some cranium work into this. All that, all that costs money. Oh, of you course. Your, your lighting, fans, uh, pumps, gotta make it. Um, gravel uh, makers, the people that make the tubs. Dirt is cheaper. No, I completely agree. You have to provide the actual resources uh, to create It's not it. going to work because it's going to make a tomato that right now costs 50 cents. It will be $9. No, the other problem is no, give people, no, it give people things free. they don't work for, they don't appreciate them. That's just human nature, too. Well, I mean, it has Your to be ideas are awesome. It's just they, they're contrary to human nature. You're never going to pull them Well, the main do, thing is do, you have to have your, hope in the future. Is the main thing. If you don't have hope in the future, if you're, if you're negative about what we can do as human beings. You know, I'm hoping for Santa Claus to show up with great presents this year, but I ain't expecting it. <laughs> there's a big difference between Santa Claus and technology. I'm, there's a I'm, big difference. Uh, yeah. Well. yeah, I'm waiting for brown <laughs> Santa to come. Well, the thing is, brown Santa. Human, 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 human behavior uh, completely changed from the 10,000 year ago to today. That's completely no. changed Go how home. we relate to society. So what would be and natural, a communal living like it was the majority of our but, but just things, can you or this recent one of the past 500 years? Can you point to me anywhere in human history where communal living has worked? Yeah, for the first 99% of it. So you're saying we're screwed. We're screwed for the most part. Well, no, 
you, you, you know, human nature is such that we have problems, and we have these systems set up so that human nature doesn't screw people. And it doesn't, is it perfect? No. Does it work all the time? No. But the idea that we can just ignore human nature and, you know, everything's going to be wonderful isn't practical. You have to realize human nature and recognize how it works and, and, and adjust to it, adjust your society to adapt to it. And when you look at a billion, over a billion people starving, there's, that's more than a slight problem. There's no excuse for anybody starving. Um, and your, and your plant um, whose, whose plants are you going to get these uh, power plants growing from? Whose plants? Yeah. Oh, well, they're going to be grown from seed or, or cutting. seeds? Um, Non-GM on nature seeds. I mean, I, I don't know what yeah. you mean. Like, who's going to buy the seeds? Are, are they going to be from Monsanto? No, they're not. They're not going to be GMO. They're not going to be patented. Are they going to be, they going to be heirloom? Well, they're going to be natural, but all types no, are different. No, everything's natural that grows in the ground. Well, but there's GMOs and there's non-GMO. You recognize that. I'm talking about the ones that nature made. Yeah, that's what we, we want to continue. Um, we want to benefit from nature. 